Coach, looking back on uh, last night, um, what were some of the things that your team did uh, to be so successful in a 4-1 win over Rockford? Well, I thought our neutral zone transition was pretty good after watching the tape. We didn't spend a lot of time going backwards. We, we got the puck going north, which was uh, an improvement and something we've been struggling with. So that was a good thing, and I thought we were five tight in the D zone a little better, so we didn't have those extended, long D zone shifts that uh, tire you out, and then they get momentum and roll shifts over, and it, it snowballs. So we, we defended that pretty well. And uh, all in all, a better effort than, uh, than we had on Wednesday, as we talked about last night. Um, and is the team starting to maybe feel the importance of these games a little bit more? <laughs> I don't think they're starting to. I think they completely understand where we are and the position we're in and the importance of every game. Uh, John Quenville got on the board last night. How big is that for his confidence, uh, a natural goal scorer, to, to start putting some in? Yeah, he, he's he's not he's a confident guy, and it was it was weighing on him a bit, but he was still upbeat. He was still positive. So hopefully, that opens the floodgates for him, and um, maybe some more start going in for him. But I'm not worried about his confidence. Uh, last night, you said the key to the game was your penalty kill. You kill off a two-man disadvantage, a big five-minute major. Also, uh, what have you seen from that group lately as they continue to climb up the the league rankings? Well, I think there's a couple things. A, our clears have been way better. You know, when you mess up a clear, then give them a second chance, usually it bites you. Secondly, our goaltending, your penalty, your goaltender has to be your best penalty killer. And then uh, we've been blocking a lot of shots. Guys are buying in and, and, and uh, sacrificing their body with shot blocks. So when you combine those three, your penalty kill is going to be successful. Uh, there's definitely been a few moments where you kind of hold your breath because guys are, are blocking shots. But obviously, uh, that's a risk that I think needs to be taken. That's part of the game. If they don't block them, they don't play. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Um, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, roster tonight. Any changes from uh, last night? Yeah, we'll probably have a couple changes tonight. Um, not sure yet what they are, but we'll have a couple changes. Perfect. We'll have all of those, of course, when we get back from the break as our pregame coverage continues uh, here with uh, head coach Dave Bell. Um, what about uh, in net? I assume uh, on a back-to-back, -back, you'll, you'll switch it up and uh, get Dylan Ferguson back in there again? You should never assume, David, but that's a good assumption. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, anybody else stick out to you in uh, last night's performance? Oh, geez, you put me on the spot here. Well, Cookshank with his 20th goal was real good. I thought his legs were really, really good. Um, I thought our D played a lot better with moving pucks quickly up in the new zone, like I mentioned. So, I, I, you know, it's a team win. It's a team game. It's a team win. But for a guy to hit a milestone of 20 goals, and when the bench got short, he got doubled up uh, shift-wise, and he, he kept his legs right to the end. So that was a big, big game for Kirkshank. And let's talk about the Rochester Americans, uh, penultimate meeting of the eight-game season series. Uh, there's nothing really that should surprise this club on the other side, is there? No, it's a, it's a team that we have a history with. We don't like each other. Um, it's an important game. They, they lost a tough one yesterday. They didn't get here last night, so they're going to be ugly and owly, and we know that. So uh, I hope we're ready for a man's game tonight. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.